What is going on everybody? So today we're going to be going over all of my Ribbit games that I played in Ribbit 5, starting here uh, up against Blackwings. So as you know, I'm playing the like plant dark hero teleport dad thing. I win RPS in the first game. Uh, we're up against Blackwings as I mentioned. They open pretty good. I feel like I have to torrential here, right? I don't want to just give them free searches and I kind of set this behind the dandy. Uh, for the purpose of torrentialing here, I want to mill something, but we don't mill anything good, so kind of rough. They get a another whirlwind search. They go for the blizzard, so now I got to be wary of that. Uh, they kill trooper. We go. I think we decide we want to just do the plasma thing, um, which maybe I should have attacked. I don't know. I feel like we're never getting any value out of plasma otherwise. Fortunately for me, we have Dust Shoot to get rid of uh, Blizzard, and more importantly, you get the information seeing their hand. I just try to attack with this. I decide I have to force it and just uh, get it off the field to like turn off Ick Attack. So here, I want to get them out of Brain Con range, and this sets up like Specialing Titanial next turn. So I get to put them on 200 by going really, really in here. And then we're of course going to get to summon our Titanial next turn. But they're going to go for this play. I think maybe there was a mistake for them to go Brianak, but they just had, like, these dead cards. So I guess this was probably just their only chance at winning. I actually decided that I should just mind con here because it's a more certain way of just winning the game. Um, so I don't use the dasher effect. We just take the Brio and bounce the back row and go for game. Game two. Our hand's not bad, especially as it going second hand. It's not too bad seeing all these cards. I just attack. I uh, said everything. Here we kind of have an issue with Sirocco just being big. Um, maybe I should have given myself an opportunity to have a bigger Trigodia. I just decided to stall on Krebons here. They go for the Ick attack, but I just Judgment. Uh, yeah, they have no answer for that. Unfortunately for me... Okay, so we get lucky. We build a Maui. I decided to just not attack with the Stardust. Um, we go for the trooper mill again. Maybe I shouldn't have milled again. There's not a lot of high priority things. Here I decided to just fuck it hit, but then it turns out they have the D prison, so I got mega punished there, unfortunately. Um, I let all their attacks go through. I think I dropped Tragodia here, but we're just in big trouble because, uh, I mean, they've got that armed wing out. They can get another one with, like, Vayu. I mind crush here, and I do hit Blizzard, which is nice. They attack, we have to wing blast or we're dead. They go for the uh, Bayou guy, I mean too. I just dust tornado this, set mirror. Mirror's gonna keep me alive. Uh, I'm not so good off the top here. That Etel is dead, which is really rough, and I'm just drawing no cards, and they draw a monster, so I'm dead in game two there. All right, game number three. I think this game was actually at least partially on stream, which is nice, because I think it was my favorite one out of all of them. They go for a lore. They have Space Typhoon, but I'm kind of questioning whether they should have spaced here. They had no out to the Krebons. Here, I decide to go for the Dark Arm play. And unfortunately for me, they have the Judgment. So they actually did have the Kalut here. I'm thinking maybe they should have just dealt with the Stardust. Because now they're in like the danger zone of being super low on life, and that's going to be irrelevant. So they make Brio. They decide to bounce my back row first so they can drop Dad. Try to hit over here. I decide to use the Gardna, and they just bounce my Stardust. Um, I go Future Fusion for the only targets I have. Hit in with... Since they're on four darks now, I'm like, all right, so long as they don't have another Blizzard, I'm alive here. And we get lucky, and they don't. And then we're going to rip an off the top brain control and just have game here, so... Pretty clean first match up against Blackwing. Second match, we are up against J Zap. He's on <sighs> Gladiator Beast. Uh, as you all know, one of my least favorite decks of the entire format. Um, my hand's pretty bad, too. It gets a bit better because I top deck Storm, and that's really nice. I decided to just out this thing. So they could have dropped Gores here, and they probably should have dropped Gores there. I guess they were playing around me having Kai's, but I don't play Kai's, but yeah. The Gores is going to catch me off guard here a bit. Maybe I should have just 
not synced until main two. I could have at least respected it a little bit. So, oh, it's some really sus shit happens here. He, like, summons the gores and then doesn't summon the token, implying that, like, you know, letting it die by battle after taking the first hit or whatever. Just having the gores which walls everything. And then I go main two and summon plasma, and he's like, yeah, actually, I take it all, and I summon the gores token. After he saw the plasma, I'm just like, what the fuck? But no way to prove that this was soft cheating or anything, so I just let it slide, you know? He has the smashing, unfortunately. Probably would have won if he had, I don't know. The shrink would have outed it too, yeah. Here we're down bad. We're down bad. I think maybe if I just played around at Gores, but GBs don't generally play Gores, so it's hard to say. This is a good top deck, but they have the shrink to stop it. Play around Mirror. No reason not to. I decided to just tribute itself to avoid damage. Then, of course, Krebon's going to pay 16 to stall. Krebon's very good against these types of decks. Here we get this. We go for Goyo. I make a huge throw here um, in that I take the Stratos for the plus. Uh, I, get, I knew they didn't have a GB at this point, but then they top deck one. Um, so... It was definitely a risky play for not a lot of value, I think, though. And this was probably the play that threw the game. So, yeah. Maybe uh, this mistake really cost me. <clears throat> I just figured they don't have a GB. I should just be playing risky because I'm down bad anyway. But, yeah, we can't use this few few because we don't have targets. I think I try to use it next turn and I realize I don't have targets. So, yeah, we're basically dead here. If I'd had... Targets, I could have, like, stalled and stayed alive a bit longer. And then tried to, like, blow them out with the Torrential. Yeah, that would have been... If I had had one of my targets in deck, maybe I could have, uh... Could have actually taken that game anyway. But, unfortunately, I do not. Game two, we open an okay hand. Uh, we just go set-set some of this. Hope he doesn't have heavy, honestly. It's kind of 50-50 whether GBs play heavy. So here, we're just going in next turn with the Mali, the everything we play around gores a bit better this time don't sink till after just because i know he's got it <laughs> um so yeah teleport set the mirror with stardust here i mean you basically win the game from here uh glads can't do anything into a, any kind of established field like this no matter how many cards they have pretty much so we just summon this attack for game and that's gonna be the end of that one Game number three. Game number three, I feel like I got giga sacked. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I should show the hand. So here we go. End phase dust, and then set the solemn. I go space typhoon. Just hit over with cyber dragon. Yeah, no big deal. So he has cyber dragon randomly that he brought in. I don't know why he brought this in. Maybe just to counter my cyber dragon, but it seems pretty unusual that he would each draw the random two of the same time so i don't know but we have to judgment it i maybe if i hadn't judgmented it i wouldn't have died this turn but like i don't know <laughs> i don't know it was pretty bad either way so i would have had to judgment the cat then i'd have gone to 1k life or something yeah i think i'd have lost either way but they have cat and then another tiger to attack for game so i don't even get another turn um even if i had probably would have just lost to like um heraclinos or something so yeah unfortunate gb's playing against just gb's just doesn't feel like Yu-Gi-Oh. it doesn't feel like there's a lot of decisions to be made um so a little unfortunate i think game one i could have maybe played a little differently game three i feel like i was just screwed no matter what because of him drawing the nuts or whatever but it's kind of just like a matchup where you just kind of have to slam everything and hope it's enough. And usually it will be, which is why GB's is not a very good deck. But yeah, anyway, on to the next match. Um, this time it was against Exodia FTK. So like a little bit less degenerate than GB's, but not by much. <laughs> um, so I just saw, I know this guy's on Exodia FTK. Someone told me. So I'm just like, I'll set my hand so hand destruction will be dead. And I'll have like Stardust Judgment. So they go Future Fusion. Uh, yeah. 
Their opening hand is... I mean, it's playable, which is definitely pretty good for a deck like this, right? If I judgment the first one of these, and then they have another. So I'm just like, all right, as long as they don't just kill me this turn, I win, right? Um, but of course, things don't always play out that way. They're just going to completely go off here. Which sucks, because a deck like this should break a lot, I think. Like 50-50, I would say. And you don't even win all the time when you don't brick. So, and that's not even considering the fact that I had disruption in the form of judgment. But yeah, they're just going to draw their whole deck. I mean, not a lot to say, not a lot to talk about. I'm just dead to the rejuvenation. Just not very interactive gameplay. Here I have Crow, which is an FTK. Um, yeah. Yeah. They, they auto-lose if you draw Crow, unless they have card destruction to get rid of it or something. I think they were also siding Burial. But it's like, yeah, you just wait for them to discard an Exodia piece or something. Or until you're sure you can just win, you know. So here I do have Lethal on this turn. With Plasma plus Power Will, so... Yeah, I don't know. This matchup just doesn't really feel like Yu-Gi-Oh. So, you know. That's what it is. Here I don't draw Crow, of course. <laughs> Feels bad. I don't even draw Crow. They, like, activate multiple hand destructions and I think card destruction. No, just multiple hand destructions, and I still don't find Crow. So. It's a bit of a feels bad. Also, they open, like, combo again. So, that's a bit rough. They put back everything with Mallet. It's a bit odd. But yeah, they just kind of have the nuts. I mean, we lose from here. We're basically getting FTK'd. Maybe I... No, I feel like I did everything right here in terms of the discard choices. So they can't use those rejuves because they'll die or something. Yeah, they'll deck out, I, I think. Or are you just not allowed to use them at all? I don't know how it works. Um, unfortunately, we can't hit game here because uh, we drew our titanium. So we just got to go for as much as we can. I didn't see any kind of line to lethal here. Maybe I was wrong. But I think this was like the most damage I could do. Obviously, if we had not drawn the titanium, we would have killed him here. I think the other thing I do is maybe I shouldn't have used Dust Shoot right away. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have. Should have just waited. I don't know. It's weird. It's hard to know if you should Dust Shoot right away there. Because, yeah, now we're dead. Um, this was probably the least fun ribbit I ever played, regardless of, like, how I finished. I mean, felt like... Two of these games were just against, like, non-interactive degenerate decks that, I mean, just not really fun to play against. The only real Yu-Gi-Oh, like, gameplay match was against Blackwing. And when Blackwing is, like, the most fun match, you know there's something weird going on. So, yeah, anyway, we didn't really care about this Rivet run because we're good to go as far as that's concerned. But, I mean, we did want to have fun, and we did not really have fun, so... It's unfortunate, very unfortunate, but we'll have fun at Rulers, surely, surely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Didn't feel like failings of the deck were really to blame uh, for these matches I lost. Felt like there was a lot out of my control in terms of just, like, high rolling and whatnot, and um, I think mainly I made a couple key misplays that probably did matter, like taking the Stratos with the Goyo against the GB player. But, and like, dust shooting immediately against Exodia. But I, I, it's hard to even say if that's wrong. Because it's like, I don't remember what it what was in the, his graveyard at the start of the turn. We would have to like really like just figure out this whole deck or something. Cause, I mean, if he just has draw spell plus, I don't know. It's hard to say. There's, like, a world where it's right to dust shoot there, I think, but 
I was not in that world, so it's whatever. I think those were the biggest misplays I identified. I mean, there were some unlucky breaks here with the drawing the Titanial. I would have killed him if I hadn't drawn it, but it's whatever, you know. I mean, even if I'd drawn into it, like, later, and if I had not just pitched it immediately, I could probably have stacked it for Plague or something, but I... I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think it out. Uh, again, I just feel like these games were not really... weren't, weren't really Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Most of them weren't. I mean, against GBs, it's just, like, slam your entire hand on the board. Against Exodia, it's just pray they brick, which they usually will, and didn't happen, though. Didn't happen. Unlucky. Anyway, I, I don't want to be sounding too salty about it. Because uh, I'm not. I, again, it doesn't really matter for me how I did in this tournament. Um, it's not really important because we've topped multiple times. We've got our invite. We've got everything we could possibly want. So don't want to be, be too mean or whatever. It's just it is what it is. I tried my best. I tried my best. My best was not enough. That's that's just it. That's that's all I have to say about that. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed my little retrospective of my tournament report. It's kind of short, shorter than most. I think this is my worst finish of the year, actually. So, yeah. Anyway, peace out. Like, comment, subscribe, and all of that, though. I'll see you guys in the next one.